Okay, part of um, the production of our actual self-portraits, another thing to consider is our equipment. Now, we are using what we have. and But in fact, that isn't something that we should be concerned about because the camera quality on smartphones now is incredible. Um, you know, and it's equal to a lot of, you know, many digital cameras. There's a lot of things that we can do. So we shouldn't have to feel that um, because we're just using our smartphones and not fancy cameras that um, that we're at any sort of disadvantage. But I just want to show you how to take some of your photos and some tools that you can use, okay? So we're going to be using our, our cameras, our smartphones, uh, the cameras. Again, if you have another, you know, your own real camera, then that's totally fine. Now, on an, um, on smartphones in the camera function, there is a timer on it. So this is instead of, um, you know, taking a photo right away where you have it at arm's length and taking the photo, this is going to give you different perspectives. So in um, on iPhones, there's a little timer icon here and it gives you uh, options, I think three seconds or 10 seconds. So I would give it a 10 second delay. So you would consider it where you want everything um, how you want things set up and, and, you know, have your camera set up so you can see where the picture would be taken um, and then set the timer and then have your phone sitting there, set the timer and then go ahead and get into your position and let it take a picture. This will allow you to have a wider range of perspectives when you're taking your photo again, instead of just being at like arm's length where you can actually push it, then you can really experiment about where you want to be and where you, how you want to stand. If you have an Android time, Android phone, I think there's there's a timer option here. That I think you click on it, and where it says off, and you have two, five, and ten second options as well. So it'll do a countdown and then take the picture for you. So that's a way to use your phone to be able to take a picture and use the timer. Now, in terms of how do you actually have your phone set up so that it's on a timer and you can actually take the photo. So there's a lot of different options. And if you don't have any of this stuff, do not fret. So if you're... Um, Mrs. Rockburn, you have this cool setup all ready to go. So if you have something like this, or even just like a stand for your cell phone, that's awesome. And that's totally something that you can use. Um, so some of you may have tripods that you've already been using for your phone. That's wonderful. Maybe you have a selfie stick, you know, you can, you can hold it. You can actually place it on something, right? Um, so what I've done is I have a, a lamp like one of those bendy lamps, and I just actually taped my phone to the lamp so I can twist it and move it. So that's an option as well. If you don't have any of that stuff, do not fret. You can use perhaps like a roll of tape to sit it in, to stand it up on. Um, you can use a shoe to place it in. So again, you just have to push. It's tricky because when it's in there, and then you just stick your hand in there, push the button, then you have got 10 minutes or 10 seconds to go set up your pose. So don't fret if you don't have a tripod, a bendy lamp, a selfie stick, any of that stuff. A shoe or a roll of tape will totally work as long as the camera part is, is visible and, and that the, the camera itself stays um, still and that you're able to access the button. So we can still get amazing photographs using, um, using our cell phones and using the equipment that we have.